Today, let us see about the retrogressive metamorphosis in Asidians. Remember that in animal kingdom, only two groups that exhibit this peculiar kind of events occur in its life history. Number one is frog, which is placed in the class Amphibia. Number two is Asidian, which is kept in the subphylum Eurocordata. As the larva, of the Assyrian is morphologically similar to the larva of the frog tadpole, hence the name is the tadpole larva. Before going to study the retrogressive metamorphosis in Assyrian, you should gain a little knowledge about the Assyrians. What are Assyrian? Why they are placed in between the subphylum Eurocordata and the Chunitata? Assyrians are marine organisms. They are commonly known as the sea scutes or the Chunitates. When we disturb it, it is a small amount of water, hence so called the sea stew. In Tamil, it is called Wuti. So, it is so called tunicates. Its delicate mantle body is enclosed in a hard or tough protective outer protective covering is known as the test or the tunic, hence so called the tunicates. They are found exclusively in the marine ecosystem, so one cannot found in the Tamsay ecosystem or any other freshwater ecosystem. They exhibit both the primitive and the advanced characters, hence they are placed in the separate subphylum, the primitive, they exhibit the primitive characters, like the primitive mode of feeding, meter feeding, severe feeding and the mucus feeding. At the same time, the larva of this species shows some cardiac characters, that means it is found only in the larva, not in the adults. The presence of the notochord, the presence of the nerve cord, and the presence of the pharyngeal gill slits. They are free swimming, planktonic larva with all essential characters converted into a degenerate, inert, and the sedentary adult. This degeneration is the linguistic known as the retrogressive metamorphosis. So, metamorphosis means the radical changes occur in the linguistry of an organism. What do you mean by the retrogressive? Metamorphosis, all the essential characters which lead a successful life of an organism which degenerate when it becomes the adult. This is known as the retrogressive metamorphosis. The retrogressive metamorphosis is characteristic features of neocordates. Aquatic fish-bane larva with notochord changes into the sedentary non cordate adult. So, this is the larva of the Asidians. It has the air tail. So, in the tail, the you can see the notochord, it extends through the length of the tail. So, in the anterior end, it has the sucker like structures. Sucker like structures, this is known as the uh, adhesive papilla. And this is the adult acidian. So, the identification mark of the acidian is the two siphon. They are located at the anterior side. One is the branchial siphon, other, other is the atrial siphons. What are the salient features of the tadpole larva? It, it is a marine, it is pelagic in nature. It looks like the frog tadpole larva. It is about 1 mm in length. It has the transparent body. The body is covered by a thin disc. It does not feed during the larval uh, during the lifetime. That means the larval lifetime. It has the short period that is about 3 hours. So the species that are some species, it has the larval duration is about even the 24 hours only. So they, it has the body. The body consists of the trunk and the tail. So the trunk has the three sucker like structures they are known as the accuracy papilla. It has the tail. In within the tail, it has the notochord. This is the peculiar characteristic features of the larva, which is surrounded by the mother cord. This, this is the notochord, this is the nerve cord. So the, the nerve cord becomes expanded to form the brain. The brain has three regions named in it, anterior cerebral cord, a middle cerebral vesicle and a posterior visceral ganglion. The cerebral vesicle encloses an autochist and two oscillate. Autochist and the two oscillate. 
The alimentary canal has the mouth, fatal cavity, pharynx, esophagus, stomach, and the intestines. And we give in us. The mouth does not open outside. It is covered by a transparent test. The pharynx builds six pulses of the gill slits. It opens into the atrium. What is in the atrium? That is the cavity which surrounds the pharynx. It opens outside by the atrial aperture. The heart is enclosed in the pericardium. It is located on the ventral side of the pharynx. So, let us see the retrogressive metamorphosis. Sarsenian tambour larva undergoes interesting changes during metamorphosis. The following changes occur simultaneously. The larva becomes geopositive and photonegative. The tail is completely lost. It is attached to the substratum in an inverted position with the help of the aggressive papilla. After ratchet attachment, the aggressive papilla are lost. The dorsal tuber nerve with the brain is reduced. The sense organs, the ocelli, autoli, tail, coronal fin, muscle bands, motor cord, and the nerve cord is completely lost. You can see in this diagram, diagram you can see the notochord cord extends, so notochord cord extends in the tail of the tail region, but here the tail is absorbs. So here the outer covering, this is known as the test. So this is the pharynx, the pharynx with numerous uh, six pulses of the gill slits. The mouth and the atrial apertures are shifted and the intestines become slow. The mouth is open. Pharynx and atrium become senior. This is the pharynx with the atrial gill slits. Uh, with, uh, gill slits. So the pharynx and atrium become senior. Numerous gill slits develop. Four ectodermal angle are developed for attachment. Test increases in size, in thickness. Heart is developed. Gonads are developed. So, what are the significant features of the tadpole larva? The larva acidia might have been placed in the invertebrates. The larva has important character characters like the motor cord and the dorsal tubular nerve. Thus, the larva proves that acidia is a cordic. It also lets say the free swimming larva is very much important in the dispersal of the species. Suppose if the larva is absent, what will be happen? The sedentary adult does not move from place to place. So, suppose in case if the environment is polluted or any other unfavorable changes occur in the environment, so the acidians, the species of the acidian may be going to become extinct. So, the life history provides an excellent example for the recurrent of the